Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. We're looking at a menu bar utility today to help you with your calendar viewing and management. Now, whilst most of the big apps such as Fantastical and BusyCal already have a menu bar component with them, Dato is an app that offers a quick view of your agenda plus a lot more as well. Now, Dato is available as a standalone purchase for a one-off fee of $7.99, and that's directly from the App Store. However, it's also included within Setup, which is where I found it. Now, I've not actually installed it on this machine yet, so I'll click to install. And here we have our welcome screen. So I'll just close the Setup window behind here and come back and click Continue. I can toggle whether Dato launches at startup or not. I'll leave it on and continue again where we can choose whether we want to have an icon in the menu bar or the date and time. Now, if you choose date and time, Dato tells you that you can't hide the default system clock in the menu bar, meaning you're gonna have in effect two clocks. So it recommends that you have the system clock set to analog, which you can see I've already done up here. And it also recommends that the system clock doesn't have the date there as well, which again, I've already done. But click open system settings to take you to the clock settings for macOS, and then you can make the changes if you want to. I'm not going to have the date and time displayed though. I'm going to keep the icon and click continue. Now I'll click get started and Dato is running in the menu bar. So let's go up and click and see what we get. And there's quite a bit in there. Most noticeably, we've got a tip window that's popped out to the left, giving some tips on how to navigate. But I'll quickly show you that you can use arrow keys to move yourself around. Then if you use the option key with the left and right arrows, you can hop between the months. Then pressing shift with option and the left and right arrow will move between the years. You can also swipe with two fingers on the trackpad to move between months. And if you long press on a date, that will take you straight to that date within the macOS calendar app by default. Right, let's go back into Dato and look at what else we have. So these sections here are configurable and I'll run through customizing towards the end, but we can see the agenda type view of the events that we have coming up and hovering over each one of these shows some basic information in a pop-up that comes out to the side. At the bottom, any events that don't fit in this view can be accessed. And if you've got an event that has a location specified, then you can show that location in maps here, which is pretty useful. Let's close it though and come back into Dato because as well as calendar events, you can see reminders in here as well. However, by default, they are switched off and you need to enable them. So the settings for this app can be found down here. And in here, I'll go to events. Then down here to this toggle where I can enable showing reminders with a due date. Now, if I click choose lists, I can enable or disable any of these from appearing as I wish. I'm gonna keep them all though. Then if I come up to Dato again, any reminders will be listed. Now I can see overdue reminders here where they slide out to the left and I can hover over them as well to get some more options for them. I can come down to more and copy the reminder. I can move it to another list or delete it. And I could also put a new reminder time in there for say 15 minutes. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.